All right, uh, this brings us to our question of the day. Um, do you have to be cool with your partner's family? Um, hold on, there's a little piece here that I need to read. Um, I think this was just by a random person. Um, I'm not marrying into a family that doesn't like me. If I go to my man's family function and his mom, aunts, sisters, and cousins are, are being weird to me, I'll leave him alone. I don't care how long we've been together. My opinion on this is um, I feel like you, like I agree with the person. Like family, you, you cannot say, oh, sorry, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to read some of the comments. Some of the comments say, nah, I don't care. Family be, be weird. Nah, I don't care. Family be weird sometimes. Girl, bye. My in-laws are Asians. They were against my man marrying anyone outside of his race. Well, he married me, and I'm the first black person in the family. Uh, marry the And then another person said, marry the person, not the family. Bible says a man leaves his mom and clings to his wife. And then another person said, facts, but more so not marrying a man that allows his family to disrespect you. Look, my opinion on this is that you absolutely are marrying the family. You're not just marrying the person. And not only if the family likes you, I feel like it goes deeper than that. Not only do, do I want them to like me, we have to have our own relationship outside of my partner. Like, for example, I would want my wife's, my wife's mom and I to have like a, a, a son mom relationship. Like, I want to walk in, I want to call her mom, I want to hug her, I want to pick her up. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I want to, buy her things on Mother's Day. I want her to call me her second son or call me her son-in-law. I want, and the same thing with the dad. I want to have a great relationship with my girl's dad. Like that's super important to me. And brothers and sisters, like that's your, why do, they, why do you think they're called your in-laws? And that's my brother-in-law. Like you have to have a brother and sister relationship, a mom or dad relationship. Now it doesn't have to be as close as your own families, but that's very important to me. A hundred thousand percent because not only for me, but also for my kids. We're going to have kids and he's going to go, he or she goes to that side of the family and not feel loved or not feel welcome. No, the families have to, at minimum, get along with each other and like each other for the kid's sake or that's just going to be a weird dynamic for the children. Second point is not only do we have to get along, I feel, my opinion, that I would like my partner's family to match my values and my family values. I know a lot of you are probably going to say that it's a lot, but if I like a girl and I don't feel like her family's values meet my values, well, first of all, probably nine times out of 10, then that means the girl's values are not going to match mine because her values probably come from her parents. But let's just say, you know, that, that, you know, she's the black sheep of the family and her and I values match. Like, I'm not going to marry, like, I want to choose my words wisely here, but I just, I have certain goals and aspirations, and so does my family. My family came up here from Jamaica. Both my parents' parents were struggled when they came up here. They both, you know, got jobs and brought other members of the family from Jamaica up to Canada. They're all homeowners, uh, you know, made something of themselves, got an education, got a job, whatever. It's like if my family came up from Jamaica, a third world country with nothing and came to Canada and made something of themselves, um, something respectable, I'm not going to marry into a family that doesn't match those same ideals. I don't have to get into any other details. I'm sure you can imagine what I'm saying, but I just feel like my family has a certain set of values. I want my wife's family to not have identical, but some sort of you know, the some sort of similarities um, with our values for my kids, because my kids are not always going to be with my side of the family. So maybe I might be looking too much into this. And every time I talk about relationship stuff, I always say, don't take my advice because I am single. But now you guys know why I'm so single is because my my choice for my partner it's not only them and the, the scrutiny that they have to go through, but also their family and their values and stuff. So no, man, you're marrying and having kids for me. That's the biggest contract that you'll ever get into in your life. And there's things that I need in my contract. And, you know, family is a big, big, big one for me.